destroy us. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Giant Snail Races. I'm Racer X Going, host of the show today, and it's Star Trek Day. Woohoo! Yay! And uh, next to me is the very lovely Mavis. Say hi, May. Hi, ho. I am Ensign May, and seated next to me is our science officer, Tyndalia Soothsayer. Greetings. Live long and prosper. And seated next to me is the borged out version of Oodle Noodle. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Snail Races. It's great to have you with us today. Uh, soon we will make you all into snails like us. To my left is Alden Cortez. Uh, and, out, and out front is Cat and Carter. Say hi, Cat. I'm Cat and Carter, and I'm driving this balloon as fast as I can. Ah! Uh, oh, down. <laughs> and now we go down to Racer X and the stats. Okay, so. Here we are. It's just, we've had two races so far this season, and this is for the amateur race. And uh, so far we have Queenie Promise in first with 20 points. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, Queenie. Second place, Lobby Riggles with 16 Yay! points. Lulu Babenko and Kelly Kane tied for third place with 10 points. Woo! Abby Black in fifth with six points. Woohoo! Yeah. Yay! And that's it. And now we go down, down through the rabbit hole to the first race of the day. Woo! Going down. Ah. 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 Okay, so uh, everybody made it down here safely. And, Yay. and we're all seated nicely except for this one person over here by the rock stuff. And we only have two snails in today's race, so only those two benches, the uh, cyan and the light and the green are moving, are going to be following these two snails over here. And we have, in the green scarf, is Lobby Riggles. Woo! Yay! Yay! And we need promise in the cyan scarf. Woo! <laughs> what happened? I turned on the button on. I got his guitar. I got his guitar. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when you touch I got his button. Nothing. Nothing can. Nothing does. It's it's just made that way. Okay. So anyway, we're about ready to go, and uh, everything's just made that way. Yeah. Yeah. You can touch it, but it's actually you can't touch it. All right, Tindy, go ahead and hit the button. Let's do that part of the show. Okay. Hitting the button. You're checking your tie quarter and you're dancing. Check a dance quarter. That's, that's a communicator. All right. Oh, and there's somebody who better sit down really quick. Grab a seat in the uh, Obi -Wan cyan. Obi-Wan Obi. Obi-Wan. Obi. Yeah. yeah. Or you'll be stuck right here if you sit on yeah. those seats you're on. There you go. All right. So anyway, here yeah. comes the cow. Here comes the cow. The cow. The one cow. Someone talk him into moving. Sit. Ah. Okay. Hey, I can sit on the W's. There we go, and the cow is coming down. And it has hit the wall, and the wall's breaking up. Woohoo! And that's how we start the giant snail race. Hey, we're off. The benches are away. We'll and see the you guys are on the away. yellow and orange benches a little bit later. <laughs> and running past the bumper cars. Yes, we have the new bumper cars. You can come and ride anytime now. Bring a friend. It's more fun with two on bumper cars. So Queenie is running across the keys, and uh, we also have Lobby Riggles running across the keys. Our, our next race will have, uh, I believe, eight snails in it, so that'll be more fun. That's Yay. the top. This is just the uh, for the beginners only in this race. This 
is where you'll be racing if you're a new snail and you come and want to race with us. You have to you have to do really good on the on this course before we let you before we put you in the top one permanently. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's only seven people on the list, so everybody will be in the second race. Hello. We have eight people. Want to get together Monday? All right, let's do that. Bye. Right. Sorry, phone call. All right, first race of the day. Time for racer to talk on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hey, yeah, green tough. bench, back off. <laughs> okay. Oh, and by the way, this this tune down here still hasn't. No one has figured out what tune that is that they're running it's, across it's right now. It's just music that's playing in Udomi's head. It's not a real song. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the way he interpreted that song. Yes. All right. The voice not is playing it right. Said. Obviously. Obviously, something's wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, going up the program. Green Thomas in first. Oh, and you know how they were always bouncing way high off here? I fixed Why? that so that doesn't happen anymore. There was two there was two mushrooms on top of each other. I figured. So, <laughs> and uh, who put that there? Uh, I think it was Tindy. <laughs> oh, it was me. <laughs> it was sure it was. No, I'm the one that sets the mushrooms out. Accidentally put out. Yeah. And they weren't even really overlapping that much, just a little bit. But enough that if you hit both of them at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> you, hit two, you hit two mushrooms, you bounce way high. This would be on the date on Monday. Uh, just a friend coming over play video games. Uh, That's his story and he's sticking not, not, to it. That somebody's yes. gonna make your beard grow. No, no, just some guy. He's Santa Claus, his beard He's grow. he's my old my old friend I've known him since Boy Scouts. We were eleven <laughs> years old when we met. And uh, he's still my friend. He comes over and we play video games. The Xbox back. Just got my Xbox back this week. After being in the shop for nearly nearly a month, yes, don't leave it on the top of your car. <laughs> yes, I, left my, I, I drove home with it on top of my car for part of the trip home, <laughs> and then uh, I got almost all the way home and found out, and then I reached that, touched the seat next to me, and it wasn't there, and I go, oh no, God! So that's what that noise was back there. Oh God, no! <laughs> so then I had to drive back real quick, and luckily no one had run it over yet, so. And then I called up uh, Xbox, and they said, uh, "They said, hey, yeah, it's still under warranty for that. Yeah, just send it in." So I sent it in, and then it got to them, and they sent it right back and said, "It's been tampered with. You've opened it up." And I go, "Damn right, it's been opened up. The whole front face fell off when it hit the ground." <laughs> <laughs> still, I, I threw it on the freeway. Of course, it's so <laughs> <laughs> You said it was covered by that. Apparently not, though, so they sent it back and said maybe I tampered with the serial numbers because I opened it up, and I no, I didn't do that. Anyway, I found a place that would do it, but they charged me 130 bucks. Yeah. Now, the new one is 330 I think, so I, I saved, I saved 250 one. bucks. Yeah, we got the Xbox One. On top of your car. Yeah. Hey, Razor. Bobby takes it. What's happening? Whoa! <laughs> They're on lap number three. Lap number three is just starting here with our two snails. Very close race, which is good. That whistling noise, I believe, is one of the snails. First place. It's really close. All close. Uh -huh. Beach ball bounce away from picking a winner. <laughs> there, there are two beach balls on top of each other. Hmm. Um. No, I don't think so. Really high. 
Yeah, but sometimes they do. I think you got to hit right in between them in order for that to happen. Wow, that could be it. Yep. Final trip by the waterfall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Baby P makes these lovely signs for us every week. Thank you, Baby P. Yes, she does. Even though she hasn't been racing lately, she's still making us great posters for our weekly event. Ooh, probably gonna hide. Not too bad though. But Queenie's but struggling. Queenie pulls in the lead. And the lobby pulls in the lead. Lobby pulls in the lead. Yes. Mushrooms can make a break. So close. Who's it gonna be? Um, we don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the hit the Queenie's ball. pulled ahead a little bit. But anything can happen. Bounce, bounce, crash, smash. But Queenie, Queenie barely. Bobby in second. Wow. Yay. Okay, so here we go for the recap. We have uh, Queenie Promise came in first. Woohoo! Yay. And Lobby Riggles came in second. Woohoo! And now we go up into the sky for the best of show with May Best. Woohoo! Yay! Yay. Okay, Mae, why don't you tell us who won Best in Show today? Woohoo! Hey, ho and welcome to The Best in Show. Tadalia Soothsayer has taken us to infinity and beyond! Oh, no, wait, that's not right. Space! Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the snail ships on the Gullwing Coast. Our nearly 14 year mission to explore strange new shells, to seek out new, fun tracks, to boldly go where no snail has gone before. Yay! <laughs> Today we have seven snails dressed to theme and eligible for prizes. Oodle me noodle, you have one fifth runner up. Yay! Yay. Boots with your traditional spikes and your Klingon banner on your bumper. It is easy to show us the enemy within out on the track today. He says he sends a dagger of the mind to strike a balance of terror into his race. As he performs the carbonite maneuver for the win today, a whole new meaning of where no snail has gone before. Yay, Oods! Yeah. Queenie Promise, you have one fourth runner-up. Yay, Yay, Queenie! Oh. Ooh, Queenie! With your snail's torpedoes ready and even prepared to be pelted by small ice asteroids. We call that being hailed in Alaska. Your snail looks quite enterprising out there today. Queenie told me she was a true Trekkie. And you know you're a dedicated treppy, Trekkie when you find a hairball and call it a tribble. <laughs> Alden Cortez! Yay, Alden! Yay, woo-hoo. Alden is our winner on and off the track, and you have won third runner-up. Alden has her rose-colored spectacles on and has a cheery outlook on the next race. Alden tells us the secret to winning is the warp core, and she is charged up and ready to win. She says if that fails, she'll just shuttle in for the win. Going on to Whispering Wind. Yay, Yay! Whisper! Yay! Part of Team Ferret. 
you have one second runner up with your snail shields up ready for the stars when snails collide oh no wait she's dead racer whisper <laughs> could have been a federation's weapon weapons expert had she survived she never forgets a face er Captain Carter yay Captain Carter team ferret you have won first runner up with your snail hull on red alert and blazing to do battle on the track today oh no wait he's dead racer what you can't <laughs> see on Catton's shell is a Romulan frog you can't see it because it has on its croaking device Lobby Riggles! Yay! Yay! Lobby! Woohoo! You have won honorable mention with your snail ready for the final frontier and aft engines on full thrust. Lobby told me of her recent engagement with the Borg. Her ring is quite lovely. Tindalia Soothsayer! Woo-hoo! Yay, Tindy! Tindy is the decorator of our snail track. You have won Best in Show. Tindalia's star, star Trek track, I should say that three times fast, yeah. is always so successful. She says it's because it started off with good genes. Tindy admits that her favorite or her biggest pet peeve is when we replace her dilithium crystals with Folgers crystals. But it does give her that caffeine surge to go above and beyond. Thank you, Tindy, for everything you do for us. Yay, Tindy! A special thank you for our fellow Trekkers in the audience today. Boy, you guys look fantastic. Look at you guys out there. Yay! Yay. You guys are ready for Best Dressed to Fan Theme today. Make sure you stay to the end of the final credits to see if you won. Fans, thank you for your contributions to our island tier. For those who would like to donate, the donation kiosk is right behind me. Your contributions keep our snails running. Thank you to the sponsors of our show, Hops Innovations, Treat TV, and YouTube, where you can space out and watch your favorite snail races in a galaxy far, far away of your own imaginings. Don't forget to subscribe to our feed and like us. Like us on Facebook. (laughs) Share us with your friends. Check out our Facebook pages for our latest race images. Now, back to the captain of our snail ship, Racer X Gullwing, and his little assimilated pal, Snail dude. Woo! Yay! Woo. Yay, me! <laughs> Woohoo! All right, so this is part of the show where we. Hello, I'm Racer X, and this is part of the show where we put our brave little snail, Snail dude, into the cannon. That's what we do every week. It's a lot of fun. Everybody but Snail dude. Well, snail dude. Yeah. Thundering most of it, I think. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's time for you to get into the snail. Yep, it's right, right there. Get in there. Get in that cannon. There we go. Prepare to be astonished. Prepared and prepared. Everyone, get ready. Yay! Yay! Coming down. Yay! Hey, hey, come on on, uh, Snail Dude. Woo-hoo. He's so good at this. He lands in that bucket almost every week. Almost. Lots of practice. Hey, good job, Snail Dude. Good job, Snail Dude, yeah. What's that? Oh, oh. oh no. It's getting dark. We are the Borg. You will be assimilated. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, uh, Snail Dude was assimilated. Help Bye, you. Snail Dude. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Woo!
will be you Borg him and he'll go back and Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> We'll get him fixed up for next week. He'll be fine. Okay, so uh, now after Snell, dude, we go to the stats for the second race of the day. Let's see those stats. All right, so here in the second race, we've had uh, two races so far in the season five, and now we're looking at the uh, – someone just rezzed in. Welcome <laughs> back, Legurnuses. Let's get back over here to the scoreboard, though. There we go. Okay. All right. So we were we were over here doing this, and uh, we had uh, two races so far, and so far we had Tindy in the lead with not rezzed. <laughs> and I guess you say are in first with 20 points. Woo! Yeah. Second place, not rezzed. Lobby Riggles in second with 12 points. Woo! Yay! Yay! Yes, this scoreboard didn't get rested at all. Udemy Noodle in third with nine points. Woohoo! Yay! Cadden Carter in fourth with eight points. Woohoo! Yay! Alden Cortez in sixth with seven in fifth with seven points. Woohoo! Yay! Lulu Babenko in sixth with four points. Woohoo! Yay! Yay. Ooh, Queenie Promise and Abby Black in seventh with three points. Woo! Hey. Whispering Wind in ninth with two points. Oh, and then I ran out of time and it disappeared. <laughs> and Kelly Kane in tenth with zero points. Woo! <laughs> good enough. Good enough. Was there anyone after that? Probably not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't have any points. They had less than two points, whoever they were. We'll, we'll look at that next week. Okay, so I think we're good here. And now let's go see out there who's out there for the final race of the day. Woo-hoo! Yay! Okay, so out here in our final race of the day, in the red scarf, we have Alden Cortez. Woo! Yay! Yay, Alden. Oodle me noodle in the blue scarf. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! In the green scarf, Lobby Riggles. Woohoo! Yay! In the, the cyan scarf is Queenie Promise. Woohoo! Yay! And Dahlia Soussair in the yellow scarf. Woo! Yay! And over here in the dead red shirt is Cat and Carter with the uh, orange scarf. But I don't see the orange scarf anywhere. Orange scarf, hey. get that on. Yay! Hey. Hey. And whispering wind in the pink scarf. Hey. All right, take a picture, click, and now we go over to May Best and the button. And go ahead, May, hit the button. And I am pushing the button, doing a little dance for you. Stop pushing my button. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Go, go, go. Meow. Three, <laughs> meow two. One. Meow three, meow, meow two. Kitty says. Yeah. I hope the kitty said it. He did. Can he said it? Woohoo! And the gate is open. And that means it's time for the snails to start running. There they go. Run, run, run. Little snails, run! And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, we have turned everything back on this week. It's not hell anymore, it's Star Trek. They'll be flying through space. Last week we turned off a lot of the springs and things to make it harder and less fun for the snails, I guess. <laughs> yes, we don't it know was like hell. <laughs> yeah, we were assimilating hell. Ah, sure, just bump a car into me. All right, there goes Tindy taking the lead. Closely followed by... Who is that in second now? We don't know. Orange? Orange? 
Orange. Uh, Carter. Uh, Carter. Woohoo! Oodles. Oodles is third. Oodles pops a little bit low, though. Lands right okay. on the snap. Ah, uh, hit him on the mushroom. Alright. They didn't open the mushrooms over here. So Oodles for hit that. Oh, they got open. They just got closed back. Yeah, thanks, Cat. Looks like everybody got three except for uh, Queenie Promise or Tindy. No, no, it looks good. It looks good. looks good. We're all good. Who popped over the maze? Is that Tindy? Tindy pops over the maze. Alden goes Red. over. Alden goes over the maze. That and then the other couple of snails had to go through the maze. So Tindy is first. Alden is second. Coming out of the maze for third place in the race is Oodle Me Noodle. Followed closely by Catten and Whisper. I thought we had seven people. I'm only seeing them. So nobody else is resing. Alden just got to checkpoint one. Yeah, Alden's starting lap two. Tindy's over there on the on the marble start on uh, check on uh, zero. Lap two. two. There we go, we got three snails on Lap number two now. Bobby Riggles probably fell off. And this has to go up the ramp again. There she goes, she's popping back up there. Let's have these snails do over here. Sorry. Is anybody else seen Queenie Thomas out there? Queenie! Queenie the science guy. Yeah. 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 Yep. She's not resting. Uh, mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, she's here for everyone else. We're okay. Whoa! Oh, he flies over the maze. What was checkpoint for? Oh, that's Oodle Me. Scott. Oh, did, you know, I just noticed you had, you had the Star Trek Enterprise following behind you, Oodle Me. Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't even <laughs> see that before. Great. Way back. Chase. I thought you were just you were just a texture, but you actually have the, the Star Trek model flying They're after them. They are yeah, after them. They're after them. They're after them. Okay, so we have a couple snails on their last lap. Alden Cortez, Tindal Yasuse are on their last lap here. Udomi Noodles is starting his lap, lap last lap. Uh, followed closely by the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> oh! Ken Carter and Whispering Wind. Just about to go through. That's Team Ferret. About to go start on their final lap. Got Lobby Riggles and Queenie back here somewhere. Queenie just starting the maze has to go through it by hand. And by hand. That's a catchphrase my friend tried to start. By hand? Yeah, by hand. I don't know why. So now whenever he he's telling me something he did, he goes by hand. It's his catchphrase. Are you allowed to have a catchphrase if you don't have a I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this so is the catchphrase of the game. You, you tell people it's a catchphrase so no more. I'll just have Mark show you the maze again. Or is that not. Tindy just about to win here? Or is that Tindy? <laughs> what? A win for Tindy. Woo! Evan's all in. He's all in. There it is! Oh, there you go! Whispering past me! Whispering! Heading up the ramp! Hello, Macy! It's a happy face! Oh, Your only help is this spring! Oh, whisper, go, 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 I go, 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 And I'm going to play. Woo! Fourth place. Fourth. 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 F
say Captain, yep. And yet he remains unfazed. They tried to save him. It's better than being faced into a rock. Sure. I'm stunned that he didn't win. Yeah, it There's Captain! Woohoo! Yes, up the And he comes in. We're safe. Six players. This lobby, hiding up the street. Every one of those are in combo. Okay. <laughs> Every combination, yeah, everybody gets points today. Woo! I'll take, I'll take the group. <laughs> All right. And you're all better. Recap. Recap it. Here we go. Okay, so in first place, we had Tindaya Soothsayer. Woo! Yay! Second place, Alden Cortez. Yes? Yay! Yay! Third place, Whispering Wind. Woo! Good job, Woo! Whispering. Yay! Fourth place, Udemy Noodle. Yay! Yay! Fifth place, Cat and Carter. Woo! Place, Queenie Promise. Woohoo! Seventh place, Lobby Riggles. Woohoo! And that was it. Nobody came in last place or eighth place this time. And now we go over to the part on snail racing that is a lot of fun where we dance. Woo! Yay! Yay! We're dancing. Everybody dance now. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. So that was a lot of fun. Hey. As usual. As usual, yes. Uh, we have a theme next week. Is that right, Tindy? Don't we have a theme every week? Uh, yeah. yeah, let's have a theme next week. What, what do you want to have the theme be, Tindy? Well, you can break out your leather jackets and your boots, groups. We're going back to the 50s for a sock off. Woo, Sarkov, yeah! That'll be great. All right, good night, everybody. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. Probably say just say who's in best in show right now. No. Okay. We'll give it. All phasers set to stun. Our best dressed audience member in show today was Wheelow Bailey. Yeah, Wheelow. I have a feeling he was going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Wheelow. I love the little Borg, a tiny Borg. A tiny's have an advantage, I think, in cuteness factor. <laughs> I 
Bye. Bye.